Joining us right now to weigh in on the state of the race for the White House, tension in the Middle East, and so much more, former House Speaker Kevin McCarthy. It's very nice to see you, sir. Um, Good to see you. There's a lot to talk about in this yes. election. Um, tonight, we're going to see uh, former President Trump speaking with Elon Musk on X. I don't know if you think that's going to improve his fortunes in this campaign or not. I think it will. I think there's an opportunity there. Elon brings a brand of independence and um, also taps into this frustration of expansion of government, more limited government. I think that'll bow well for uh, Trump in that matter. Can you explain this? The Financial Times has a, has a poll out, which I'm sure you saw, with, with the headline, uh, Kamala Harris is more trusted than Donald Trump on the U.S. economy. What do you make of that? I, I make that's just euphoria that Biden is no longer the nominee. I mean, look, are Democrats in a better place than they were with Biden? Yes, but with Biden, they weren't just going to lose. They were going to crater everything. What I read in that poll, Democrats are playing defense. I mean, if you think of the Electoral College and you give President Trump just what he won last time, all he has to win is Pennsylvania and Georgia, and he's at 270. The whole play is defense. And if you also read that poll, Democrats are excited they're ahead by a couple points. Well, Hillary was ahead by further. Biden was ahead by further. But the other thing is, Trump didn't diminish. He actually went up to his highest points in the three swing states of 46. So she has to play defense. Now, it's a different race for us. If this race, whoever this race is about, loses. If this race is about the economy, if it's about the border, if it's about crime, Kamala's in a very weak place. But if it's about personality, it gives her an advantage. What do you make of her, her, of her pivot or, or move over the weekend? And, and I know uh, the former President Trump's calling it a copycat move, but effectively to say, you know what, we're not going to tax tips as well. Sort of this idea, and we keep hearing it, but we haven't, I think, fully seen it realized just yet, that on some of her policies, economic and otherwise, that she may actually shift to the center. And how much harder does that make it uh, for the president, if in fact, for, for the former president, that is, if in fact she does that? I would have her say that, then I'd come right back and show exactly what she did. Not only did she vote for, she was the swing vote to hire all the new IRS agents to go after you on how you reported your tips. So she would become a flip-flopper on almost everything, which would be a bad position for her. You haven't contested this race yet. You haven't laid out in her own words on every single position she's in a weak spot. Now, look, Kamala always starts strong. When she went to run for president, she had the best opening. She had 40,000 people in Oakland. She had all this money came in, but she never even made it to Iowa. So on a long race, Kamala doesn't do well. But this is a short you, race. You made some headlines over the weekend suggesting that she is uh, some kind of puppet uh, for Obama. No, that, that, that they, he's somewhat running the campaign or something. What, what was that about? I didn't use the term puppet. They, they, that was they, the, they editorialized That was that. the idea. No, my take was it's a much different race. You can tell Biden's people are no longer running the race, okay? She's taking one play out of Biden, don't talk to the press. Because when she talks without teleprompter, she does poorly. So keep her out of the press uh, from that standpoint. I think that she's going to, I'm assuming, maybe I'll be she totally wrong, in, she in, that she has to get to the convention. She wants to put out all of her, her policy stuff at that convention. And then I, I, I imagine, I hope, that she will end up talking to folks like us on CNBC and others. Mm -hmm. No, You would hope, but I mean, it doesn't look like she's going to that much. Biden didn't. It's the one place that gave them an advantage, just to not make it about themselves. But she's bringing new people into the campaign, Obama people. So you see a fundamental difference. Hillary didn't work hard. Biden never went anywhere. They're going state after state. That's a different campaign. That means we Republicans have to work harder. Her messaging is better. Anytime it's an open seat for the presidency, it's aspirational. You use the term future. She's using language that I used when we ran to win the um, Congress, an economy that works for right. everyone, right? So she's using language that has nothing to do with her so policy. How do you think former President Trump is doing right now? There were a whole bunch of stories over the weekend that said that he's very frustrated, that he's angry, that this, that sort of the... the this honeymoon period for her is putting him in a tough spot. Does, what does he do to recalibrate? He says he doesn't need to. No, I, I think he, on the issues itself, he can run on the border, he can run on the economy, and he can run on crime, and he will beat her every step of the way. You just have to run on those policies. Look, this is a man who's been through much worse. You, you've watched everything that transpired. I don't think America has seen this much in a nine-week time frame of politics, a president almost being assassinated, a president being convicted, a debate, a president, incumbent president actually pull out. That's a lot to go on with. You have to recalibrate the race, okay? Every Sunday, the football team puts a new strategy because it's a new defense. It's a new offense you're going up against. Does he That's what he has to do. Does he recalibrate? Is there going to be a new it's strategy? It's a different race between Biden. Biden's race was all about his age and capacity. And even Democrats weren't voting for him, so it was all collapsing. Now it's a different place. But I would look at it from this. There's pros and there's cons. It's a new person, so it's a tougher race. But this is the weakest person they could have picked. Had they selected somebody else, had they selected Whitmer or somebody else, the race would be much tighter. You also... The race she, would be much tighter. You're looking, Josie's losing no, right now. Yeah, he's losing right now. <laughs> okay. Even Axelrod's um, 
You look at Axel Rodriguez, he says the enthusiasm from Democrats is actually wrong. The advantage is still to Trump. They're playing defense. They have to win every single state. The Electoral state College the math is still an advantage on, on, for, for former President Trump, yeah. right? But uh, you would have to say, though, if the, if the game at this point is activating people who hadn't made up their mind a month ago or were just anti-Biden, um, he, Trump seems to have a ceiling. It's an amazingly strong core, and he's been around for nine years, and we know, we know what it is. And, and her slogan has become, we're not going to go back. Yeah. That's a good slogan. Yeah. It's an important one. That's why Trump has to lay out the case for where you go. And I think you can make that case against her based upon her policy. Remember, she's from San Francisco. The other thing, too, is when Biden won, and you think that was a big race, right? He won by a big margin, you think, 82 million votes? It only came down to 48,918 right. votes. Close. And his favorability was plus 10. That's not where she's at. J.D. Vance. Yes. Does he help or hinder the Trump ticket? Well, no... The VP doesn't determine the outcome, but I'm watching J.D. Vance in the last week be an asset. I watch him being the place that Trump shouldn't be. You want an attack dog. You want someone to go do the negative and you go do the policy. And that's exactly what he's doing. I thought his movement, why he walked across the way and just literally challenged the press to why haven't you asked her a question? Now you're all talking about it. Before, no one mentioned it. They just gave her euphoria, right? That was a smart move. It kind of changed the debate. And you're looking at him. He's going out. You need an attack right. dog, a VP.